Hello students, welcome back to the class. Today we are going to study chapter number 15 which is Model Auxiliaries. So before moving into the lesson and learning studying what uh, auxiliary verbs are or what are model auxiliaries, first I am picking up some words which I find it important for you to learn uh, the word meanings and the pronunciations as well. The first word we have here is auxiliaries. Pronounce it as auxiliaries. Auxiliaries. And its meaning is helper. Next word we have obligation. 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 Its meaning is responsibility. The third word we have is improbability. Improbability improbability and the meaning is unlikelihood word number four we have alternative 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 and the meaning is substitute substitute the fifth and the final word we have is conditional 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 which means dependent so I ask or I ask you all to learn the word meanings and learn the pronunciation as well. Okay, now moving into the lesson, let us see what are auxiliary words. Auxiliary verbs are helping verbs. They help other verbs to form tense, voices, and moods. They can be primary auxiliaries or model auxiliaries. The verbs be, be, have, and do are the primary auxiliaries. Okay, now we learn that auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs. Be verbs like is, am, are, was, where, all those are called helping verbs. And these uh, auxiliary verbs are used in forming tenses. It is also used in forming active and passive voice, and then questions and uh, negatives. And this, what important thing is, these uh, auxiliary verbs can change their form according to the tense, the number, and person of the subject in the sentence. Now, moving into model auxiliaries. And before we actually study what model auxiliaries are, let us see what is an ordinary verb. Ordinary verbs are like when, do, do or do has its own meaning rather than a grammatical function as an auxiliary. It is treated as or it is known as ordinary verb. Now moving on, let us see what are model auxiliaries. Model auxiliaries are verbs used before ordinary verbs to express different meanings such as permission, possibility, ability, necessity, certainty, obligation, etc. Some of the model auxiliaries are will, would, shall, should, can, could, may, might, must, ought to, and need to. Um, models are used in various ways in a sentence. So, uh, in this lesson, we are going to study the different uses, the three uses of models in a sentence. That is, permission, possibility, and then ability. Now, here I'm presenting a table that shows the uses of various models. First of all, I'm presenting you with a table that shows um, the uses of permission. What exactly is permission? Permission is an approval to do something. In this table, we can see three different models which are used in asking permission. So the models are may, can, and could. First, let us see the uses of may. May is a formal permission. So may is used when you are going to make a request formally. An example is given there, may I come in. And the next model we have is can. Can is less formal than may. It is a little bit less formal than may. And it is also used in asking 
or making a request might be between friends or might be someone whom you are familiar with. So, may and can they are both used in asking permission, but may is used when you are being very formal, and then can is used when uh, when you are a little bit more casual. Um, next model we have could. Could is the past tense of can, which is conditional. So could is used in asking permission in the past. So when you are talking, when you are going to talk about the permission which is asked in the past, you are using or we are using the word could. So some examples are given here. You can see she said that I could leave anytime. This is in past tense. When uh, when we were young, we could play most of the games. So in this um, sentence, the subject, the speaker is talking about the past time when they could play most of the time. If you could ring up, he may agree. So this sentence is also talking about the past time, saying that if the if he could ring him up at that time, the person whom they had been requesting might have agreed. So the important thing here is may is used when you are making a request very formally and can is a model which is used in making a request with a little bit lesser formal and then could is the past tense of can uh, and it is used when uh, the speaker is talking about permission being asked in the past time. The next table we have here is all about the various uh, uses of model regarding possibility. What is possibility? The meaning of possibility is future prospect. So in this possibility, we have four models that is may, might, can, and could. And their uses are different. May expresses possibility in affirmative sentence. So let me remind you what is an affirmative sentence. Affirmative sentence is also known as declarative sentence and it affirms or declares something. So may is used in expressing possibility in affirmative sentence. And may not, the opposite of may, may not source improbability. Improbability means unlikelihood, something which is very unlikely. So in the example, we can see here, Wednesday may be holiday, might be holiday on Wednesday. The next model we have is might. Might is the past tense of may, and it is more unlikely than suggested by may. The difference between may and might is you are using may when you are sure about something and you use might when you are a little bit confused you are not so sure of so more unlikely than suggested by me in that case we are using might he might not have come you are not sure he might come or he might not come and next model we have is can can here expresses general and occasional possibility and it is used mostly in interrogatives so let me remind you again what is an interrogative. An interrogative sentence is a sentence which is used in asking questions. So um, the opposite of can, model can, cannot source impossibility. So I give here some examples in the table. You look the examples and then go through the definitions and the uses of can again. The last model regarding uh, possibility we have is could could is used uh, to say you are not so sure about something and which is of past tense which is the past tense of can i mean so it can be an alternative to me or might there could be a storm so storm can happen or it might not happen so it is an alternative of me or might um, now we are coming to the last part of the lesson and now I'm presenting here a table that shows the uses of model regarding to ability. What is ability? Ability is the quality of being able to perform. So three models are used in this case and the models are can, could and be able. First let us see how can is used. Can. Uh, 
is expressing the ability to do something or one's capability or one's capacity and it is an alternative to be able to. and next model we have is could could is ability in the past which is conditional so could is used to introduce a request an alternative to would you again it is used in introducing or making a request so in the example we can see here could he convey the message i could give you a, get you a helper if you want one could you please send the message immediately so could is the past tense of can and it is used in introducing a request and the third model we have here is be able be able is the ability to do something or ability in the past it is used after another modern verb such as should will must or might so in the example we can see he will be able to complete it in few days so here this sentence speaks about the capability or the ability that the subject he will be able to complete uh, the work in few days so these are the uses of can could and be able regarding ability uh, that's all about model auxiliaries and i hope you understand and please do not forget to practice the exercises which are given